perfect. Good job, way to change speeds there in the transition. How far do you think that ball is going? Yeah, maybe 70. Really? Yeah, it's right around 70. 60, definitely past 50. It's probably 60 to 70. <clears throat> yeah, you're barely moving, right? Yeah. And it's just, uh, that's kind of the whole goal. No force. Beautiful. What club you got in your hands there? 52. 52, very good. So how does that feel? It's different. It's like I'm creating a lot more power. Good, feeling like you're creating a lot more power, right? Yeah, yeah, I can feel, I can feel myself sinking. Good. Let I me mean, understand exactly what you're talking about. This thing called sinking down. Sink, yeah, sitting into your rotation correctly. There you go. There you go, beautiful. All those balls are landing, what, five feet from each other, aren't they? <clears throat> Perfect. Ooh, how good was that? That was a really good one. Beautiful. Good, you got a little punchy down at the bottom, right? Yeah. Yeah, just kind of keep it smooth so you don't need to add any hit, right? That's all that was. You just added a little hit with the backhand to get a little more oomph. It'll come through there. You don't have to you don't have to put any application to it with the with the backhand. Beautiful. Another one perfect. So tell me what you're working on right there. Uh, sinking down, instead of staying tall and through. So set, kind of demonstrate that for me, like in a live swing without hitting it, but just kind of live, tell me what we were working on in there with the hips. Um, well before I um, float, I sink down a little bit. And, uh, exactly. What were you doing before? Staying tall in the shot, I wasn't sinking down like that. Was, yeah, your hips were staying the same level, right? Yeah, yeah. Which is what we want in the backswing, but after, once the float starts, right, we want to see the hips change levels. Yeah. And they, we, we want to go sink down in both legs, right? Yeah. Yep. Definitely. Sitting into your rotation. Beautiful. That ball went. Uh, that may have went 80, 85, right? And so when you see this in live speed, and you'll, you'll get to see this, I'll post it on YouTube where you can see it. But you, you, you're gonna, it looks like you're hitting it at 30 yards. And, and the people that see this, they think that you're hitting it at 30 yards. They don't know that you're actually hitting it. Yeah, yeah, first, yeah what it actually looks like. And so you're creating all this torque, which is because you don't see the speed with that. Right? And then all of a sudden, the speed is in the club head at the bottom, which is the flash speed where you don't see it. And that's how you get your power. Beautiful. Maintained your alignment really good there.
Yeah, it's kind of with, with the ball versus keeping your, maintaining your alignments without creating like the punch, right? The ball right in your face a little bit. So that was created more about like speed change, about trying to push the right hand down, right? Just keep it smooth. 